Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we're going to show you how to make paneer pinwheels. Now this is a great recipe for parties, gatherings, or if you're just in a mood to snack. Just make a whole lot. Start eating. Enjoy. And it's a yummy snack, I can tell you that. <laughs> so here's what you're going to need. We have half a brick of paneer over here, store-bought paneer. It's about uh, 7 ounces. And all we've done is just basically crumble it, you know, so just let it be at room temperature, leave it aside for a little while and it's just easy to crumble. Look at it. Just, or you can put it in a food processor and just pulse it. That's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like to wash things. <laughs> I don't have to. Yeah, she'd rather make me work. <laughs> okay, so here you go. It's very simple. And in the meantime, I have a small pan here with one tablespoon of oil and it's just heating up on a very low temperature while that's happening. Once it's all crumbled, we are going to have a field day with all the spices. So, uh, so this is all approximate measurements. This is quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon of red chili powder, quarter teaspoon of cumin powder, this is chaat masala. This is really to taste. You're going to put a little more than quarter because there's a lot of salt in here also and a lot of other flavors. This is amchur or dry mango powder. And uh, this particular thing you want it a little on the intense side because you know it is going to be rolled up in puff pastry. So and that's a little bland so you need to, to have that. Kick. Absolutely. <laughs> and paneer itself is very, very bland mm -hmm. so it needs a lot of help. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt because remember the chaat masala has salt and just mix it. So the other thing that's happening right now as we're working on this preparation is our oven is heating up at uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So you want to make sure that it's already preheated and ready to go. And the other thing that we have already prepped is we're using puff pastry sheets and these are usually in your freezer section in your grocery store. So we've pulled them out of the freezer and they need to be at room temperature or thawed out at least for about 40 minutes. So we've gone ahead and done that. That's ready. Our oven is ready and our masala is almost ready. One more thing I'd like to mention is it is usually in the dessert section and number two it comes in two different varieties. There's the sheets mm -hmm. and then there's like little cutouts. So you want to, you know, for this particular preparation you need the sheets. So Right. So to this, uh, we check the spices. Everything is perfect. We're going to add chopped cilantro. Now you can put as much or as little as you want and mix it. So is the oil hot? Mm -hmm, I believe so. I'm just going to turn up the heat now. It was heating up on the low. But I'm going to put it on a medium now. And we're going to quickly saute the paneer. Now, it doesn't need to be cooked. It's, it's already cooked and it's ready to go. But by doing this, what happens is a lot of the spices that we added inside mm -hmm. really get incorporated well into the paneer. And it heats all the way through and it all becomes just one nice flavorful mixture. And this is really just like a minute or so, not longer than that. Okay, our paneer is ready and we've been tasting it. It's fantastic. It's right on. It's of course, like we mentioned, a little on the intense side, but we've transferred it and we're going to let it cool down till we're ready to use. Now we're going to use our hands a little bit so we don't want to burn ourselves. <laughs> so we have a surface, it can be any surface, your countertop or whatever you have, and we're going to lightly dust it with some flour. This is regular all-purpose flour. And Hathal had mentioned earlier about the sheet. Now the pack comes in with two sheets in it, so we're going to use only one at this point. So we're just going to dust this on top as well, just a little bit. Now it's very important not to over thaw the puff pastry sheets. The recommended time is about 40 minutes. If you do it for longer, it will stick to each other and you won't be able to roll it out like this. And now I just have a rolling pin and I'm just going to roll it out just a little bit. So we get nice pinwheels and you can see the layers. And a paneer is also cooled down to the touch. So I'm just going to crumble it up just a little bit again. And we're going to spread this mixture over the puff pastry sheet. And you actually want a pretty thin layer because we are going to be rolling this into like a jelly roll so it cannot be too thick. So you can go all the way up to the edges on three sides and one of the sides you want to leave open because that's where we're going to be sealing the roll. So we've used about half of our mixture and like Anuja said the packet of puff pastry sheets actually comes with two of these sheets. We're just showing you one right now but the second half of this will be perfect for the second sheet. 
All right. And now you can start rolling. So you just take one end and just kind of roll it. The first part, you just have to kind of push it in a little bit so that it holds shape. And then just start rolling it. And you do want to roll it as tight as possible. Mm -hmm. Now we've used this paneer mixture. You can use any of your mixtures. Any leftover vegetables or anything else you want to add on to this. I'll just bring it closer to you. And you can just take a little bit of water and just close it up. It will help seal it a little bit. But you have to kind of push it in and press it a little bit. But not to the point where it squishes your roll. So just you know, close it up. I think I'm just going to turn it over and just kind of pinch it in a little bit. Just so that it doesn't open up in the oven. If you eat eggs, another idea to be able to seal this is just take an egg, beat it up and you can use that as a paste basically to glue the sides. Okay, and now that this is done, I just got a sharp knife and I'm going to cut it through the center. Now you want to be a little gentle and not squish the shape. So look at this, looks mm -hmm. great. Beautiful. So again, we're going to just cut it even thickness and just go all the way. Now a little bit of the edge is going to be left over and that's okay. Okay, change knives. You need a sharp knife. So it's just easier. And just cut it down to the center. And we also have a baking sheet that uh, we've lined with a piece of foil and lightly sprayed it with some cooking oil. If you don't have the spray cooking oil, you can just take regular cooking oil and just lightly grease it. And we're going to arrange these evenly on our baking sheet. And if they're not your perfect round pinwheel shape, they're very pliable and flexible right now. You can actually manipulate it and make it any shape you want. Are you trying to say I didn't do a good job? <laughs> <laughs> so the rolls are, pinwheels are arranged nicely on our baking sheet. They made approximately 12 and we have them approximately half an inch thick, but mm -hmm. it's up to you how, how thick or thin you want them. Right. But these are going to go into our preheated oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to cook them for about 15 minutes. But you really need to keep an eye on them. If they're turning really dark brown, they need to come out. You're right. looking for a nice golden color. Yeah, and if the thinner you make them, the faster they cook. Right. So, okay, and they go. So our paneer pinwheels are out of the oven. Mm -hmm. They look fantastic. Of course, we pull them out. We waited for a couple of minutes because otherwise it would be too hot to handle and the other thing is they're very soft and they'll just like break so you just want them to settle down a little bit before you transfer them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we gotta eat this. Yes. <laughs> and it's actually, you know, if you've worked with puff pastry before, you have to kind of let it cool down a little bit. It doesn't have to be cold but mm -hmm. the more you cool it down to warm, the flake here it is. So definitely that's another reason to wait. <laughs> but I'm ready to dig it. Absolutely. Yep. Let's try. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Wow. Fantastic. Flaky, crispy. Yeah. Warm. Warm and the intensified paneer. Yes. With all that spices, it's really coming through out of the puff pastry. Excellent. Absolutely. Love it. And uh, the other good news about this one is that, you know, when you've had it, uh, if you've made it a little earlier and you've kept it and you actually want to serve it a little later, you can just put in a very low oven temperature, like 200 or something, and just turn it off and just put it in a warm oven for just a little. Mm -hmm about five minutes to ten minutes and it'll just crisp up again up. yes and it's like you just <laughs> made it believe it or not so they travel well yeah. especially for parties and company you know you don't want to be making these at the last minute so but they're so good easy idea. <laughs> they really are <laughs> can't be fun. Yeah. so enjoy your paneer pinwheels and join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com adding a pinch of spice to your life mm -hmm.